for the Supplemental Instructional Series of Videos for Chem 121. And today we're going to be talking about specific heat. Now, you may see up here we have this equation here. You may be wondering, what does all this mean? Well, let me first start off by defining what the variables actually mean. So here we have Q. Q is heat energy. And then mass, you may have seen before, is M. Now this big C here is what we call the specific heat. And then finally, this delta T, it's one variable, is, of course, change in temperature. And you may remember delta is change. Now, let me go through each one of these variables and let me explain a little about what each means. Now, here we have Q, the heat energy, which is essentially the energy that comes from heating something up. Now, energy can be measured in one of two different units. There's the calorie. One calorie is, is defined as the amount of energy that is required to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Then there's also another unit of energy called the joule. And the approximate conversion is that one calorie equals 4.184 joules. Now, you don't need to worry too much about what a joule means. Just know that it's an alternative unit of energy that is used then mass is, of course, self-explanatory. That's the mass of the substance you have. Now, the specific heat thing. Well, what specific heat is, essentially the amount of energy you need to raise one gram of that substance by one degree Celsius. And it has units like this. It can either have calories per gram degree Celsius or joules per gram degrees Celsius, depending on, of course, what you're looking at. Then finally, delta T, change in temperature, that's if you have the substance at one temperature and then you either heat it up or you cool it down. So basically, it's just the final temperature, which I'll represent as Tf, minus the initial temperature, which I'll just represent as Ti. So, gotten a little mathy, you may be wondering why we are we're even going to use this in the first place. Well, it's good to know if we want to know how much energy goes in heating up a certain amount of substance. Say we were like boiling some water and we want to determine how much energy we need to boil some water. Say we have about oh, 500 grams of water here. So. have an M, a mass, of 500 grams, and then say it's at room temperature, so our initial temperature is about, oh, 21 degrees Celsius, and then our final temperature is, of course, the boiling point of water. You want to get it to the point where it's just starting to boil. Now, specific heat would, for simplicity's sake, we'll deal in calories. Because the specific heat for water in calories is simply 1. It's a nice, easy number. Now, we want to figure out how much energy, heat energy is involved in getting that water to boiling point. So. Notice how I set everything up here. I essentially have the mass here. I would just plug this in for mass right here. Then I have, then I would take Tf 
minus Ti, like I mentioned before, if you find the change in temperature, that's just 100 minus 21, which is about, which is 79 degrees C. And note, for, the, for these particular problems, you don't need the temperature in Kelvin, because even though it's a conversion rate between Celsius and Kelvin, they're essentially the same magnitude. So even if you subtracted the Kelvin temperatures, you'd get the same result. So anyway, and of course, our C is right here. And then this is our delta T. Now, if we put that all together, we have Q equals 500 grams times 1 calorie per gram degree C times 79 degrees C. And so we would just punch that into our calculator and we get a certain answer, which I can't quite do in my head, off the top of my head at the moment, but if I were to guess, you get around 4,000 or 40,000 calories. 39,500. Thank you. 30, specifically, 39,500. Now, for perspective, that's about the amount of calories in, let's see, eight sticks of gum. Because each stick of gum has five calories. Anyway, so that's just a basic introduction to specific heat and what it's used for. Hopefully, the math hasn't been too intimidating and go out there and solve some problems. <laughs>